Hi guys, welcome to another Disintegrator Films tutorial. Today we are working with Adobe Premiere Pro 2019, uh, although this should work in uh, any version of Adobe Premiere Pro CC. What we're going to do today is we're going to take one 4K video and we are going to create a multicam sequence uh, using just one video. So this is handy if you are trying to film an interview. It's also handy if you're trying to film a panel. So basically all you're going to need is a camera that is capable of 4K video and you'll be able to create a multicam sequence and the appearance of using more than one camera for a shot. So this can uh, increase the production value of your videos exponentially and uh, I just wanted to share some of these tips. So what I've done is in Adobe After Effects I've created a couple of videos and the links to these videos are going to be available in the description of this tutorial. You can go ahead and download those and practice um, right along with this tutorial. Uh, one of the videos has two subjects and the other video has three subjects. There's not a whole lot of movement in them. Uh, but you'll be able to use those to, to follow along with this tutorial. So, okay, so to start off, you're going to open Adobe Premiere Pro. And when it asks, you're going to say that you want to create a new project. You're going to name it Multicam and choose the destination where you'd like to have it saved. Don't worry about any of these other settings. Uh, and then just go ahead and click OK. All right, so uh, if you can see here in the project pane on Adobe Premiere, if you would just right click and create new bin okay we're gonna name this bin footage okay so double click on that bin and right click again uh, here you're gonna click on import what you're gonna to want to do is import the videos that you downloaded using the links that I provided all right, so as you can see, we've got two examples of this. We've got the two subject example and we've got the three subject example. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use the three subject example uh, to go ahead and begin this tutorial. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this three subject example to try to simulate an interview where the silver character is interviewing the red and the blue characters. OK, so what we're going to need to do is set up three static shots. Now, the first shot that we're going to create is going to be a group shot with all three subjects. Um, and the second shot we're going to create is going to be just the host. The third shot will be just the guests. So to create our first shot, what we want to do is right click on the video that we're going to use. And we want to create new sequence from clip. We'll name that number one. All right, do it again. Right click on that same clip that you just used to create a new sequence and create another sequence. Call that one sequence two. Repeat the process, right click, new sequence from clip, call that number three. So as you can see, we've got one, two, and three opened up on our timeline. So go back to number one. And what we're gonna do uh, is Make sure that you highlight your clip and in the effects controls area, you can see that you've got all of your, all of your stuff here uh, where you can change the opacity, the position, the scale. We're going to change the uh, position and scale. Remember this video is in 4K and if you are publishing to a social media site such as Instagram or Facebook, um, Instagram, the best you can do is 1080 by 1080 or 1080 by 1920. And Facebook, I believe, uh, limits all the video there uh, to, to 720p, which would be 1280 by 720. And so being 4K, you're able to clip that video and crop it and create a bunch of different camera angles. So uh, number one, we're, this number one shot is going to be the three person shot. So what we want to do is we want to get in nice and close and try and center that up the best that we can. So now we've got all three subjects completely in frame and that will last for the duration of that sequence. Now we go to sequence number two and in sequence number two, what we said was we're going to concentrate on the host alone. Okay, so the host for this particular sequence is going to be this silver character. All right, so um, again, 
what we're going to do is just operate the scale and the position for this clip and so we will scale it up and move it over move it down and scale it up a little more and there we go all right so as you can see for that clip we are just focusing on the interviewer which is the silver guy and back to the first clip we have all three second clip we've got the interviewer now let's go ahead and set up the third clip again highlight the clip itself and then move over to the control panel for the effects controls and for this one we are just concentrating on the guests so just scale that up and move that around until it is the way that you need which is just the two guests you can even scale that down a little bit now when framing your subjects you want to try to operate it the best you can uh, using the rule of thirds you don't you want to give them some headspace um, same here you want to make sure that you're not clipping off the heads but so now we've got all three clips ready to go and uh, we've got clip number one which is all three characters clip number two which is the interviewer and clip number three which is just the guests okay and this clip lasts for 30 seconds again we've used one clip to create three different camera angles all right now Back over here to the bin where we created our new sequences. Control click on one, two, and three. Highlight all three of those. Then what I'd like you to do is right click and click on create multi-camera source sequence. All right, so once you create the multi-camera sequence settings here, um, you'll have a variety of selections that you can choose. Uh, to sync up all of the video and you can do it based on audio you can do it based on the in or the out points uh, and we are just going to do it based on the in points all right so now we have created our multi-camera source sequence as you can see here uh, it has a different icon uh, on the bottom right hand corner so close all three of these open sequences in our timeline and the next thing that we want to do is grab this multi-camera source sequence and just drop it onto the timeline. Now, it looks like from this uh, particular angle here that uh, there's, only one, there's only one angle. And it looks like it's the first one, the establishment shot. But what I'd like you to do is see this little button editor plus sign. Go ahead and click on that. Um, and then what you're looking for is the toggle multi-camera view button. Now, I've already got it laid out here, um, and so all you'd have to do is just drag and drop that onto your uh, panel here. But I've already got it uh, enabled, so if you just click that, it brings this up where you can see that you've got these three different camera angles ready to go. Now, the best thing about using Premiere Pro for this particular situation is that you can do it live. Um, and so let's say you do have an interview going on between the interviewer and the interviewees uh, you can just literally sit here and press play and live edit this thing so uh, let's just go ahead and press play we're gonna assume that this person is saying something right he's introducing his guests now you want to switch to the shot with all three so that the guests can say hello interviewer asks a question these folks answer the question. Maybe everybody laughs because it was a funny question. Interviewer says goodbye. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. All right. So as you can see, the appropriate cuts have been made based on the angles that we chose while that clip was playing. Um, so let's go ahead and play that back so that we could see. Let's turn that off. And uh, let's see how that looks so again 30 seconds is the clip so this is where the interviewer is welcoming everybody to the show thanks for watching this show i'd like to introduce my guests these two red and blue people 
So, what makes red and blue people tick? Well, red and blue people really like silver people. Can you believe it? Ha 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 ha! Everybody likes silver people. Thanks for watching the Silver People Show. And there you go. That is the end of the sequence. So, as you can see, the appropriate cuts have been made, and you have successfully created a multicam sequence using just one video clip. Again, it really helps when it is a 4K clip. As you can see, the fidelity of the image is still very, very good. Um, but it does work for any kind of video, so you can crop and cut whatever size video you want. It's just that the, the more you scale it up, you know, the more it's going to be degraded uh, in post. So now, the, the last thing that you need to do uh, for this is to come up here to the left side and click on File. And go down here to Export and click on Media. And what that'll do is it'll bring up the export settings for this video. Um, and this is the spot where you can choose the format that you'd like to save your interview in. Uh, I want to go ahead and save it. And let's call it, and let's call it Multicam. Oh man. Edit. Done. Easy peasy. Come down here and make sure that we are not saving a 4K version of this video. Again, what you're going to want to do is downscale this to either 1280 by 720 or 1920 by 1080. Again, that will help to preserve the fidelity of the image because on social media platforms, 4K is not supported on Facebook, nor is it supported on Instagram. It is, however, supported on YouTube. Although in this day and age, most folks use their phones to watch videos on YouTube and most phones don't support 4K. So um, again, this file size will be you know, relatively small and you just go ahead and come down here to the export button and click export. Just give it a few minutes and it will kick out your finished product. Well, I'd like to say thank you for tuning in to another Disintegrator Films tutorial. Today we worked a little bit with Premiere, which is out of the normal. Normally we do uh, Adobe After Effects tutorials and uh, we're trying to venture off into something new here. So I just wanted to say thank you again to everybody who subscribed. If you like this video, please drop a like and consider hitting that subscribe button and maybe even that bell to get notified for new uploads. So thanks again for tuning in and uh, we'll see you guys next time.